Hi everyone, it's Sailor Mimsy. In today's video is going to be a journaling time because I haven't done one in what feels like a very long time. Uh, this will be a full journaling time. And so here I have my Obonichi and it's doing pretty good. No major incidents since my last video or was it my second last video? But yeah, you guys saw how it was falling apart because I got it wet. Alright, anyways, so let's go to today is the 12th. So, let's start here. So yesterday was Remembrance Day. Kept it pretty simple. And today, I did start writing a little bit up top. So before I went into work today, I was just writing how lazy I felt. I felt lazy to get ready to go to work. So I feel like decorating and stuff right now. So I just have this Project Life card and I have my stamps over here. So we got the Fantastical Bear stamps. I was thinking the other day that November is almost half over and I still haven't gotten... I don't have my Christmas card ready. I make my Christmas card, or I make our family's Christmas card every year. And haven't gotten around to it yet. That's pretty bad. I'm just gonna go with this. This is that black ink, but it has the gold sparklies in it that I found at Michael's. Okay, now, the question of the day. Which bear do I want to use? Let's go with Sloth Bear. Sloth Bear is not only cute, but also pretty much how I felt today. Oh, I think I over inked it. I probably did. Oopsie. I was trying to wipe the ink off of it and I ended up wiping the ink off of its ears. Do I want him to center? Sure. I'm in a Christmassy mood. Just so you guys know where I'm going with today's page. I felt... Yeah, today felt very Christmassy. While I was at work earlier, like I work downtown and every year there's something called the Santa Claus Parade. So a huge part of downtown is shut off so they can have this parade. I didn't get to go because I was working today. But I did get to see peaks of the parade while I was waiting for my husband to pick me up after work. But yeah, so like with the Christmas, like with the Santa Claus Parade, and then on the way home... On the way home, the radio was on the Christmas station already. I don't know when the Christmas station began. Maybe it began after Remembrance Day? Today? After Veterans Day? I'm not sure. Anyway, so yeah, my husband had the Christmas station playing when I got into the vehicle to go home. And I was like, oh my gosh, you found the Christmas station! And he was like, uh, kind of found me. He didn't realize that there was Christmas music playing, I think. Where do we put this now? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a think on that. Okay, I'm just gonna put this aside for now. So today the high was 12 degrees Celsius, and the low was 3 degrees Celsius. It was sunny but cold. Oh, and after work today I went to the store and I've been there to find treats for Sadie. I ended up coming home with a box of these things. It's like a cookie covered in white chocolate and then there's peppermint, like candy canes, crushed candy canes sprinkled on it. So I'm feeling super, super Christmassy. Um, oh, and our Christmas tree is going to go up today too. Super excited about that. Usually put it up earlier, like right after Halloween, because I like to enjoy the. I like to have it Christmassy in here for as long as possible. You guys can hear noise. It is my husband in the room across the hallway in the office playing a video game. I think this might be my favorite roll of washi. Like, one of my top faves for sure. I got it at Target, I think two years ago or a year ago. I really don't remember. I think it was around Valentine's Day and they had it hanging on a random a random hook in a random area. It was like surrounded by candy. It wasn't even near the stationery aisle.
I don't know if, the, if you guys can tell, but these are, it has like that gold leaf on it. You can see it kind of when I move the page around. Alright, I will be right back. I'm gonna make this disappear. I'm back, and that was delicious. Okay, back to business. Just gonna do some more stamping. You guys probably already know where I'm going with this. And I just used a stamp set that I've had for, has to be at least five years now. And it was like a typewriter font stamp set. I got rid of the lid for it because it was just like a really cheap plastic and it kept getting in the way. But so here's what the back side of it looks like. I found it at the store is called Winners here in Canada, but um, I think in the yeah in the states it's called TJ Maxx and there's like Marshalls and stuff too. But I did find another place um, actually a couple weeks ago that sold the same set, so gave me ideas for my next giveaway. I really love that stamp set. Okay, so we have the bear. I think I'm going to make him say 42 days. That's 42 days left until Christmas. But by the time you guys see this video, it'll be less. some writing underneath this. Okay, so I want to add another bear stamp, but this paper isn't the greatest for stamping. Not with any of the ink pads that I have, that's for sure. I'm just going to use one of these labels here to stamp on. And that's how it turned out. I'm just going to wait a little while and let that dry before I write anything else on it. So I was thinking I'll stick this here. I really want to use this little Christmas snow picture. Maybe down here. I don't know. Oh, wait. Wait, I think I'm onto something. Okay, that's a little bit better. <sighs> okay, maybe I'll do that. Surprise, it hasn't snowed here yet. My husband and I got married on November 20th, six years ago almost, and the day before the wedding, it snowed. Not like a little sprinkle of snow, but it just like full on snowed. It wasn't like a blizzard or anything, but it was definitely enough that you had to shovel. And I'm not joking. A few people actually texted me and said, Oh, it's snowing, what's going on tomorrow? And these are people who aren't even like in part who aren't even part of my wedding party. They're like guests of the wedding. And they're asking me like what's happening the next day because when my wedding is the next day and it's snowing and it's like um, my wedding is completely indoors, so I don't know what the problem is. It was like you know, like when it's your wedding, you're like stressed out and worried about stuff and like it's like really? You guys are texting me about that? It's look where we live, it snows all the time. Nothing's gonna change just because it snowed. Anyways, I thought that was really silly, like definitely made me laugh and kind of shake my head a little. And I did message that back to some people. It's like, well the wedding's indoors, so it's all good on my end. Jeez. Okay, anyway. Just a fun little tidbit for you guys. Um, oh, I wanted to add some green up there. 
I really like this tape. I know it's more spring theme kind of related, but I really want to use this one. Oh, I don't even know if I want to use this now. It just doesn't seem balanced. Okay, so up here, I was just writing what happened last night. Um, my husband and I were supposed to watch Prisoner of Azkaban. But 15 minutes at the most into the movie, I had to stop. Because I was feeling super antsy and I just couldn't sit still and watch. So I ended up going to bed early. And then he watched the rest of it. I feel bad. Because that was supposed to be like our thing that we did last night. But I just, I couldn't sit still. Couldn't get comfortable no matter what. So he watched it without me. And Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban was probably one of my favorite books out of the series. I decided to just go with it and stick this label. Alright, so I went to go get my paint. And I'm not going to paint all of the, the drawings. I'm just going to add just a background of watercolor and I'm going to color it in with marker. And the story about this here is I couldn't decide what I wanted to do for dinner. Like I could have had dinner at home, but I wanted a hot, hot meal. And when in doubt, go for udon. So I did that. Dragged my husband out to the sushi place, and I had udon. Oh, and the reason that. His bear figure is pretty much the same height as as me. It's because we were seated at a table and the chair that he chose to sit in is a lot shorter than the other chairs. So that's bugging him and I was like, oh we're at eye level. He's actually a lot taller than I am. Even with his short chair, we weren't at eye level. He was still taller. And waitress came by and said that his food was coming. He got like a beef stir fry thing. But then in reality, what happened was that was the last thing to come to our table. So I had my udon and he did get um, a chicken katsu as well, I think. Yeah, all that stuff came before he got his dish. So that's why I'm eating and he has nothing.
Okay, so this day is done. Oh yeah, I don't remember if I even explained. See, so yeah, right here I wrote, where is the snow? And yeah, I think I explained everything else. So I'll just show you guys closely how everything looks. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, just leave it in the comment section below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Heli, there was honestly two moments where I was so sure that I forgot to press record and I had like a little mini heart attack. Oh my gosh.